An Australian icon, the koala, has been classed as endangered. For those of us working you know, with koalas, it comes as absolutely no surprise. More than 80% of koala habitat in Australia has been destroyed since European settlement. Some estimates say more than 60,000 were killed or displaced during the 2019 summer bushfires alone. Associate Professor Grant Hamilton says counting the koalas in remaining areas is vital, so we know how to manage them. But that's easier said than done. Given they don't move much, koalas are often hard to spot. So, citizen scientists have been recruited wherever koalas are found for initiatives such as the Great Koala Count, which charts population trends. Other researchers are even trialling facial recognition software on drones to identify individual koalas by their noses. And while tracking is critical, experts say the outlook for the species remains grim, while the clearing of koala habitat continues unabated. Have we been destroying our own koalas' homes? Well, it's true that we live, or we like to live, where koalas live. The threat is only compounded by disease and climate change. And as their habitat shrinks, koalas are being forced to travel on foot, where they face other threats like cars and dogs. A 2020 inquiry in New South Wales found koalas would be extinct in that state by 2050 unless urgent action is taken to stem the decline. And action is what organisations like the Worldwide Fund for Nature are focused on. They're working to expand wildlife hospitals, replant eucalyptus trees and protect koala habitat from further land clearing. Their hope is to double koala numbers across eastern Australia by 2050.